right, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the first trick method to interpreting arterial blood gases. It is called the Rome method. Rome stands for respiratory opposite metabolic equal. So this has to do with the direction of the values as compared to the pH. Remember that respiratory is represented by CO2 and metabolic is represented by bicarb or HCO3. Some people have actually also referred to this as the arrow method and you'll see why. So we have two options for an abnormal pH. It can either be high or alkalosis or it could be low or acidosis. For each one of these conditions, you could have a respiratory or a metabolic cause. So you could have a respiratory alkalosis, a metabolic alkalosis, a respiratory acidosis, or a metabolic acidosis. So when we talk about opposite and equal, we're looking at these arrows. Again, that's why some people call it the arrow method. So respiratory is opposite, metabolic is equal. So if the pH is high and it's respiratory, then the level will be low, opposite. So that's the CO2. If the pH is high and it's a metabolic source or a bicarb issue, the bicarb would be high also, equal. You see it, opposite, equal. All right, so if the pH is low and it's respiratory, then the CO2 would be high, opposite. If it's a metabolic issue and the pH is low, then the bicarb would also be low because metabolic equal. So do you see this respiratory has opposite arrows, metabolic has equal arrows. So you can see again why some people call it the arrow method. So the best way to really see this is to put it in practice. So let's do some examples. So remember, we always use our three steps. Step one is to evaluate each one. In this case, we'll just use arrows. Is it high or is it low? pH of 7.52, that is high. PaCO2 of 28 is low, and a bicarb of 22 is normal. So we see these opposite arrows, right? Well, we know respiratory is opposite, and that is CO2. So this is a respiratory issue. And since we know the pH is 7.52, which is alkalosis, we can say this is a respiratory alkalosis. Step three is compensation. But since the bicarb is normal, we know there's no compensation happening. So we would call it uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. Got it? Next. Step one, pH of 7.29, that's low. CO2 of 37, that's normal. Bicarb of 16, that is low. All right, we see equal arrows. It's bicarb, which is metabolic, so we know that's right. So this is a metabolic issue. We see acidosis because of a low pH, so we know this is a metabolic acidosis. Step three, the CO2 is normal, so there's no compensation. So this is an uncompensated metabolic acidosis. All right, let's do another one. Step one, pH of 7.32, that is low. CO2 of 55, that is high. Bicarb of 29, that is high. So now we have to think critically a little bit. The respiratory level is showing opposite arrows. Is that what we expect? Yes. The metabolic level is also showing opposite arrows, but we know for metabolic to be the source, it should be equal. So that can't be our source. So now we can safely say that our source is respiratory. And because of a low pH, we know it's a respiratory acidosis. So what's really going on here? Well, let's go to step three. Are the CO2 and the bicarb both abnormal? And are they representing opposite conditions? Yes, the bicarb is high alkalosis because it is trying to fix the problem, right? So we know that there's some compensation going on. Since the pH is still abnormal, we would call this partially compensated respiratory acidosis. So this is kind of where the arrow trick comes in too. If your CO2 and your bicarb have arrows going the same way, then you know you have compensation. All right, let's do one more. Step one, pH of 7.44 is normal. PaCO2 of 52 is high. 
bicarb of 35 is high. Okay, don't skip steps here. Step two, what is our source? Well, our pH is normal, but we know there's a problem, right? So is the pH on the high or the low side of normal? Well, if we know pH is 7.35 to 7.45 and we're looking at a 7.4, we are on the high side of normal. So go back to Rome. Respiratory opposite? Nope. Metabolic equal? Yep. Okay. So this is a metabolic alkalosis because of that higher pH. So when we shift to step three, again, we see that both of these arrows are going the same way. So we know there's been some compensation. And since our pH is normal, we know that this is a fully compensated metabolic alkalosis. All right, so that is the Rome method or the arrow method. I know this method works really well for a lot of people. We have provided a cheat sheet for you with a Rome chart on it so that you can use that as a resource. Again, make sure you do the practice problems found in the lesson using the Rome or arrow method and then move on to the next trick method so you can really see which one's gonna work best for you. Now go out and be your best selves today and as always, happy nursing.